All right, so, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to uh, turn on the microphone. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so listen, as we continue our story in the book of Mark, the gospel according to St. Mark, the fifth chapter, we're going to look at the second story in that book or in that chapter. We're going to look beginning at verse 21. Now, can you imagine when the religious leader came to Jesus and he was like, listen, my daughter is dying. And he comes to Jesus and is like, look, I, but I know if you lay your hands on her, she will be healed. So Jesus is like, okay. So he goes with the man to heal his daughter. And on the way, my pastor often says that in the book of Mark, we read about all these interruptions. Do you have enough time in your schedule to be interrupted? so that the Lord can work through you. So anyway, Jesus was interrupted by another woman who needed healing. And these two stories intersect. But let's look at following, we'll come back to the lady that interrupted the story, but let's look at after Jairus, the religious leader, and Jesus and the crowd had been interrupted. Can you imagine, this religious leader had been begging Jesus to come and heal his daughter. And you hear his promise to go with you. Like, I'm going to come with you. I'm going to come to your house. I'm going to make sure that your daughter is healed. And then when they got there, if you look at verse 35. So, or before they got there, right before they got there, one of the people came, a messenger arrived from the house of the religious leader and said, your daughter is dead. There's no use troubling the teacher now. Now, can you imagine hearing this? that your daughter is there after you done begged Jesus to come to your house and you probably thinking if this lady hadn't interrupted us we could have been there my daughter would have still been alive and hear the words of Jesus speaking to us even today in verse 36 where he said it says but Jesus in the New Living Translation, translation I like this but Jesus overheard them and said to Jairus don't be afraid just have faith now, maybe the other people, who the messengers who had come to them had never seen a miracle. They ain't been what, they ain't been through what Jairus was going through. Maybe that's happening to you. The people that you know haven't seen a miracle. They haven't been with, through what you're going through. But don't give up like Jairus. Don't be afraid. Only believe. And you'll see in verse 37, Jesus wouldn't let anybody go with him into the house except for Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. Listen, don't, you can't take everybody with you. Don't take everybody with you. Because for the miracle that you're believing for, some people just ain't there. And that's okay. Nothing against them. Even Jesus only took three people with him. And you read as you continue the story that Jesus brought the little girl back to life. So can you imagine being a fly on the wall in this situation where you see Jesus continue to heal in response to faith? Jairus, he could have said, you know what, Jesus don't even worry about it now. He could have mourned, that this process of grieving, all those things. But he still was like, okay, Jesus is like, don't be afraid, only believe. Come on, this is where I live. This is what's happening. So don't give up. Keep trusting.